there's so much going on politically right now. There's so much information that's being thrown at us all day long, nonstop, 24 hours a day, that I was watching it last night, and it's just so overwhelming, even for me, the guy that reads all day long about this stuff, and you just think to your, I, I, you just think to yourself, there is a way, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, there is a way where you can inundate the general public with so much information all of the time that you can make it almost impossible for anybody to follow the truth or what's really going on. And I don't have a solution for that. I just know that I'm watching that at work currently. And if you ask the normal human being, what's going on in Washington right now? God only knows the answers that would be given and from what prism they would be given in. If you talk to the radical right, it's all a hoax, and they're all out to get him, and they've all been out to get him since jump, and he's the greatest president of all time, and this impeachment thing is a hoax, and the Robert Mueller thing is a hoax, and anything that he says is a hoax is a hoax. And if you ask someone on the radical left or the far left, they're like, the world is coming to an end. Democracy is being destroyed. This guy is the single worst thing that's ever happened in the history of, uh, of the United States of America, and our country is dying. And like everything, the answer lies somewhere right in the middle. What we're doing currently right now, regardless whether there's a Republican or a Democrat in office, what we're doing right now is unsustainable If we want to continue to live in a democracy, if the shoe was flipped and the Democrat was in office and the Democrat was behaving the way that this Republican is behaving and the Democrats in Congress were protecting this Democrat because they just were worried about their parking spaces to the point where they were letting the guy in office, the Democrat, uh, wreck constitutional norms. We would be just just as big a trouble as we are, I I feel like, now with the Republicans. At some point, there needs to be a new identity of a conscience for the legislative branch of government. The reason why we're in the mess we're in right now is not because of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is who he is. He was elected because he scared 39% of the country into believing that we were going to lose our country to brown and black people if he wasn't elected. That worked. And the reason we are where we are right now is not his fault. The voters of America decided that he was our president, period. Elections have consequences, period. But when he starts to break the law and act in a way that is illegal, it becomes the responsibility of Congress, the legislative branch of government, to stop that. Regardless if the guy in office is playing for your team or not. And we are so divided currently that there is no room at all for anybody to agree with anybody else. And so when you watch Lev Parnas come with all of this information, you're like, you know, he's a scumbag and a criminal and he looks creepy. But, you know, he's probably telling the truth. There is no room for the truth. Curly. 
And so you start to take a look at what could potentially happen, right? And potentially what could happen is we could no longer be a democracy. At some point in 40 years, 30 years, maybe we become a monarchy. Or may- maybe this is just the way the executive branch exudes so much power that we basically have a borderline king slash autocrat run the country every four years. And if that's the type of government we inevitably will have or that we are living through now, then we will then start to shape our country differently. Does it make it better or worse? I don't know. What I do know is right now we do not live in a democracy. We are living in a weird autocracy because the guy in office isn't being checked by one of the co-equal branches of government. I was watching these cats swear in yesterday in the Senate. And the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States of America, the judicial branch leader, was swearing in the legislative branch to be impartial as we start to go into this trial And I thought to myself, Jesus Christ, if I'm a Republican senator, it's all fun and games to back this guy and to make sure that he does it's to make sure that he ends up tweeting something nice about me or he doesn't tweet at me at all because I don't want to lose my job. But at the end of the day, when the Chief Justice of the United States of America is swearing you in to be impartial for the upcoming trial for the removal of the president, at what point as a senator are you like, wow? I am being tasked with an awesome responsibility. And screw the politics of it. Like, I am a, an independent, powerful f- uh, member of a, of, a, of a branch of a government apparatus that has existed for 240 years because people looked past politics at the end of the day. And right now, I am in a position where I might have to make the hard decision for my own personal career, but Jesus, it would be the right thing to do in order to ensure a way of life that we have cre- that we have been living for it is an awesome responsibility and i for one would be pretty overwhelmed to be in a position to be able to uphold that and i just hope regardless of republican or democrat all of the senators there realize just the enormity of their responsibility and their place in history, potentially, of our country. If they all look at it like that and they realize that we are going to exist after Donald Trump and that we will go on after Donald Trump and they take a look at uh, at their legacies... Well, I would hope that uh, truth or the right thing, doing the right thing, would somehow override their own personal ambitions. I was... uh, I mean, this Lev Parnas guy, you got to be kidding me with all the shit that he's saying and everything that everybody that he's implicating. I mean, it is deep what's happening if you believe that guy. It will be fun to watch this roll out on TV. And again, please try to stay as close to it as possible because we are witnessing history. This is only the third time in 250 years that this has occurred. It is important to be awake.